Fleming Island's Erica Carnegie is working to make a positively Jack's difference by showcasing something that's very personal. The 18-year-old is going to represent Clay County at the Miss Florida Teen USA competition in April, and her platform is AVM. What's that? Well, it's a rare disease that creates a clump of blood vessels on the brain or elsewhere in the head. It's very dangerous and can cause an aneurysm, stroke, or even death. Erica had corrective surgery. After her personal experience, she wanted to find a way to let others know about those dangers. So she became the first youth ambassador for the Aneurysm and AVM Foundation. She tells others about dealing with the physical pain and emotional trauma. And despite all that she went through, she remained at the top of her high school class academically. In May of last year, she graduated high school at 17 and also graduated college with an associate's degree. Erica now attends Stetson University on an academic scholarship with plans to attend law school after graduation. Now, after corrective surgery, she started competing in pageants, which was always a dream. In four short years, she won several state and national titles and, as I mentioned, is now competing for the title of Miss Florida Teen USA. The winner of this pageant will compete for the national title of Miss Teen USA. She's a fighter and survivor who refuses to give up. And she's a mentor to several young girls who are new to pageantry and also to girls who feel they can't compete because they look different. Joining me now are Positively Jack Swinner for this month, Erica Carnegie and Jim Moyer with Fields Auto Group, who will present the award in just a moment. Welcome to you both. So let me start with our Positively Jack's Award winner. First, congratulations. Thanks Thank for being you. here. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to have this opportunity. So for other young women out there who find themselves presented with a challenge, where do you start? Because sometimes it's not easy. That's definitely correct. For me, it always starts with confidence, and that's what I talk about when I go to workshops and when I speak at events. You have to be comfortable with yourself, and you have to know that you can do it, and that'll radiate on the outside, and that will allow you to achieve all of your dreams. You know, we talked about the fact that you're mentoring other young women right now, and you know, you start talking to them, and you always get that, yeah, but. And, you know, they're hesitant to meet that challenge because they know that they've met obstacles all throughout life and they don't know how to get over that hump. So how do you help them jump that hurdle? I, again, just recommend confidence, believing in yourself, just trying something new and stepping outside of your com comfort zone. I know that starting pageants, my first pageant, it was very outside of my comfort zone. It was something that I never thought I was going to do before, and I'm so glad that I did because now I mentor all of these wonderful young women, and I've achieved so many things that I never thought that I would. So it's about saying I can do this as opposed to focusing on what I can't do. Yes, definitely. All right, let me bring Jim Moyer into the fold with the Fields Auto Group. So, Jim, what is it about this young lady's story that just touched you? Well, I mean, she's unbelievable. I, I got to tell you, I, I sit on the board for Positivity Jacks, and I get to review the applications, and, and by far her application stuck out just for what she does in the community, what she went personally through, um, just... Uh, being able to go through these pageants, uh, an honor student. I mean, I'll tell you what, uh, she's going to get a law degree, and if I need an attorney, I'm going to get Erica. So, uh, you know, she just really means uh, what the Positively Jacks Award is all about. And with that being said, uh, Erica, uh, on behalf of the 3,000 Fields employees, it's my pleasure to be able to give you this Positively Jacks Award. God bless you and keep going. So in these days of social distancing, of course, we all have to be in a different place. But thankfully, we're all on the same page. And thank you so much for the work that you do in encouraging so many young people and others to make sure that they can jump those hurdles and make a positively Jack's distance. And I'll make sure that we get this out to you. And thanks for everything you do. And Jim, thanks so much for helping make sure that we recognize those people who are making a positively Jack's difference. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that I had this wonderful opportunity. So if you know someone or something that is Positively Jacks, nominate them for the Positively Jacks Award by heading to newsforjacks.com. And a little reminder here, here at News for Jacks, we're trying to share a thousand good deeds happening in our community and inspiring others. It's all part of our Random Jacks of Kindness campaign. And make sure that you document someone or, you know, yourself doing a good deed. Upload it to newsforjacks.com slash snapjacks. And sign our pledge at positivelyjacks.com, committing to do something kind for others to help keep the movement going.